man. Go! Yes, my husband and I watched Unhinged. Congratulations. It's very thrilling. It's very exciting. Ma'am, are you okay? I'm pretty sure the guy in that truck's following me. He's road raging. It is on track to be uh, make history as the first theatrical release in the U.S. since the coronavirus lockdown. Were you involved in that decision? And what do you think about it? The head of the studio, Mark Gill, the studio Solstice, you know, his research, but more importantly for me, his gut instinct was telling him to um, to go first, to get the, get it out, because this is actually in a sort of a reverse psychological point of perspective, um, this is what people want. They want to be in the situation where they're reaching towards a, a normalcy that they're missing and they're going into a situation where they watch a film and all the crazy stuff is just happening on the screen. It's not happening in their real lives. You know what a courtesy tap is, young man? Sounds like this. It's light. It's friendly. I'm sure that's what your mom meant to do. No, it's not. Mom! You know, your character in the film is so angry. We see him sort of bubbling up with this rage, like sort of from the get-go. And I would love to know as an actor, where do you tap into that energy from? You know, I've been working as an actor um, for 50 years. I did my first job in 1970 when I was six years old, you know? You know, for me, it's like... I understand the concept of it and, you know, I can just, you know, get to that place, you know, the more efficiently, the better, you know, and I like to work fast and I like to work quickly. So, you know, here we go. This guy is supposed to be full of rage. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> I don't think you really know what a bad day is. But you're going to find out. Do you feel like that this story is a bit of a commentary on sort of what's happening in the world today where everybody seems to be, at least if you just look online, like on the edge or on the moment of rage spilling over? 100%. And that's what I kind of started to realize after I, I'd read it. I didn't have a very positive reaction to it, but I started to think about it more and I started to think about where it actually was positioned in terms of what it was saying about where we're at, you know? You know, we've gotten into this pattern where we can't help ourselves, but feel like we have to have an aggressive, angry response to everything. And funnily enough, I think the argument itself is actually the problem or feeling that you need to argue. You know, there's lots of other ways that we can communicate but we're choosing not to at the moment. I think that's one of the things that this film does. It puts it right in the face of people. It says, do you really need to win like half a point with your response or can you just get on with your day? You better bring your A game. You're sure gonna need it. <laughs> 